Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and today we will be talking about a new update to the PMAX script that allows you to set up more advanced Performance Max campaigns. In today's update we will be talking about notes. Notes are basically product level updates that you can apply to your products using predefined rules. So let's go and have a look at the scripts. So this is the Google Ads new UI and excuse the wide menu here on the left um, because I can't make this bigger. So I'm just showing you this is for Google Ads so that you can see the script. But I will demonstrate everything, the settings within uh, Visual Editor so you can have a little bit more of a visual presentation of the script itself. So there are two types of scripts. Of course, we have the MCC account. So this is for managers, for Google Ads managers. Um, you can then add the account ID at the top for the target account ID. Uh, if you're buying the single uh, version, the single account version, then this part is pretty much ignored. So you don't have to look at that. But the code starts with the settings. So what we would like to see are the performance notes on each product. I will give you a short demonstration. So as we can see here, we have notes at the end and then we can see, for example, uh, it's above target, it has high impressions, there's no performance at all. Um, you also have within range, which, which means it's within uh, the target. You also see wasted, so that means the, there are lots of clicks but no conversions. Uh, and this allows you basically to quickly see and sort by uh, for example, Z2A, and so you can see within range what is high impressions, below target uh, and above target, and wasted, where is wasted? Here we go. So you can easily see then, okay, this applies to this product, and then you would either like, for example, exclude the product if it's wasting too much uh, costs, or you could try and investigate why it is. For example, if you have lots of clicks, that means that your ad is enticing, but when they land on your page, they are expecting maybe something completely different. And this can happen, for example, if there is a misinformation between what you submit in Google Merchant Center versus what is on the website. So before excluding, you could try and test out to see what the problem is by comparing the data, analyzing your website, uh, going uh, a little bit deeper than uh, just what the ad presents. So to get all of this info, you can easily do this by going to the script. So what we first want to do is set our target RS. So this means that if your campaign target is 1000%, then we would add 10 as the RS tag target. For example, it could be 8%. Uh, 800% sorry and then you add the RS target as 8. Then we also have above and below target threshold. So this is basically if for example you're saying I want to see what is above target 30% and below target 30% or you can even have below target 40% then you would change this value to 1.3. If it's for example 40% that you want to look at then you change that to 1.4 and this to 6. So it's basically plus 4 and minus 4 if based on the 40%. So you subtract the 0 and then you add it or subtract it from that value. Then what we can add is the minimum product clicks. So for example, this will be to, to detect what is wasted. Uh, so if you have 150 clicks, for example, and uh, it has no conversions, then it will tag it as wasted. Then we have the impression threshold. So what this is, is where you have a thousand impressions and then it takes the low CTR as a metric. If it's, for example, below 0.35% uh, CTR and it has a higher than a 1000 uh, impressions, then it will flag it as a uh, high impression, which means then that there's a lot of traffic going to the ad itself, but nobody's clicking on it. So in this case, you would want to 
uh, improve the visual aspects of the ads. So what you can do is look at your ad and see what visually is representing your product. This is usually the annotations, the title, the uh, description, the image, the price, uh, etc. So I've also actually created a Google Ads uh, annotation guide uh, detailing everything that you can implement to improve your visual aspect of your ads. Uh, then the next steps are actually what I've already talked about in the previous video. So I recommend that you have a look at that. And that is basically to see all of this data. So the impressions, clicks, CTR, conversions, conversion value, cost and RS. And this data you can then use, of course, for setting up feed rules in Google Merchant Center to, for example, separate uh, converting products versus non-converting. So, for example, it is quite good to uh, have just one campaign, performance max campaign, with all your converting uh, data, uh, uh, products, sorry. And then in another campaign, you have all your non-converting products. This allows Google to focus on the uh, converting products and less on the non-converting, which means then in the other campaign, it can more focus on those non-performing products and try to give them a chance to get a uh, conversion, uh, because otherwise Google will focus too much on only converting products. Then what this rule does is it allows you to update it every day. So then, for example, if you have a conversion in the non-converting campaign, it will then update this sheet. And then within the Google Merge Center feed rules, you can then uh, automatically apply it so that it is a converting one. And then it goes into the converting performance max campaign. Of course, you can do a lot more advanced uh, campaign setups. And that depends on what you want to achieve. Uh, but these, this is, for example, a basic setup that I would recommend you do. So to achieve that, you would then add your Google Sheet URL. You can copy this URL and create your own. Um, or you can just add a empty Google Sheet file. So you don't need to have uh, any specific uh, Google Sheet. Anything will just work. It will remove all the content and then add uh, the details in there. What we want to do is then set, for example, 90 days. You can set that to sheet one. So if, for example, you have a different sheet name, uh, let's say that you have multiple campaigns that you would want to submit to one Google Sheet. Uh, and I've actually detailed that in my previous video. So if you want to have a look at that, you can have a look at the video as well. And I uh, will actually link the video in the description. Uh, and then you would set your campaign name and then this is then designed for converting versus non-converting. Uh, so what you want to do then is once you've set up your non-converting campaigns and you have seven days worth of data, you would set that to yes, seven days. And then obviously your campaign name for the non-converting campaign. And what the script will do is it will merge both data so that once it creates the Google Sheet data, everything is merged together and not separated uh, because that is important to have merged information uh, to allow you to set up correct feed rules. I've also added a uh, ID format. So by default, it will detect if it's Shopify, it will just format this correctly. So with a capital uh, country code in between the uh, two underscores. However, some uh, merchants might have, for example, a SKU value that is in full caps. So what you want to do is just add full caps to this, and then it will automatically add all IDs in full caps. If you don't add full caps uh, value, and your product IDs are SKUs, then it will default to underscore values, so underscore characters. So you can see the accepted uh, word that you want to use is full caps for uh, the ID format. So if you're using Shopify, just leave this empty and that doesn't need to be done. So then when you uh, run this uh, script, so you just click on run after you've done everything, you can view your sheet and you will see all this info. Uh, and I recommend then that you set the view to freeze one row so that you can easily scroll and see all the data. 
So you can also then set up feed rules based on the notes. So for example, if you want to automatically exclude products that are wasted, you can then set that uh, based on this rule instead of, for example, creating your own feed rules in Google Immersion Center. Um, but mostly I would say that the benefit of seeing quickly um, the notes is to be able to quickly say like, okay, there are quite a lot, uh, for example, below target. Let's go and improve, for example, uh, the title, descriptions, the images for these specific products. So you can then view the product ID and then uh, view in Google Merchant Center what you can improve. Um, so basically notes is to allow you to quickly and easily see um, what should be improved or how everything is performing at a glance. So that's the new update. Um, if you have any recommendations that you would like to see in the notes, feel free to reach out and I'm more than happy to include that into the code. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one.